Our enemies outnumber us on both sides. We need more forces to hold this city against the Tal'Darim. Several defenders of man squadrons have contacted us, Emperor. It seems the lower ranks weren't aware of Davis's real agenda. Your speech opened their eyes, and they will fight the Tal'Darim with us. That's a start. We can rely on their outposts to hold the front line for a time, while we focus on getting our reinforcements ready. I'll join them. I can keep the Tal'Darim scattered on the edges of the city, away from our bases. We should also deploy liberators and siege tanks to strengthen our positions, and perhaps an SCV or two for repairs. You always think of everything, Rigel. We're going to need all of it to get through this. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, apparently this is much more interactive than I thought it was. I, for some reason I didn't think it was, and apparently we can also see breaking news. Uh, but I haven't been looking at that so far, so... It's really nothing, it's just a news report of what's going on, so I, I don't, we don't care. We just, I, think, I haven't been looking at them this whole time, so I'm not going to start. I might as well just fucking forget about it. Uh, so yeah, they have a whole bunch of shit here about, like, different things. As I said, I wasn't aware of this, this in-depth, um, fucking system what we have here. But anyways, I mean, it doesn't tell you much. Like, for, to be honest, it's like... It gives you rough overlay, but it's like really rough and like it's just better when you get in into the mission itself that you kind of know where it is. Anyways, we'll be able to construct battle cruisers on our next mission, Nova. I've developed upgrades for them. If you're interested. All right, so we have some upgrades to do. Uh, so we have uh, our battle cruisers here. So we have first of all internalized tech module in case like you know you want to construct battle cruisers at a rate of fucking two per. Starport. I don't know why. I mean, if you're doing like a, like you know, for some of them like Marauders, I can understand. You don't want to maybe make like a bunch of tech labs, but battle cruisers. Come on, you you just invest into the friggin' like the extra starport or two. You know, you're not saving that much money. Uh, you can also get cloak on your your battle cruisers. Just you know, for some reason. I, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but you know. And then, then I can't do anything. Good times. And then we have uh, the ability for our battle cruisers to heal each other out of combat. That's a very um. I uh, it's it's okay. I guess we'll be using that at some point, but not now. And then we have special ordnance. It replaces the. Uh, Weapon with the ATX laser, which can attack multi uh, and target multiple enemies at once. This is actually the... I, I, I mean, I, I like this one a lot. Especially in this map where we get, kind of get swarmed by a couple of units. We're going to take that one. We have something new for our uh, our Ravens here. They basically get Hunter Seekers as like their... Well, it's, uh, yeah, Hunter Seeker missiles that are they're basically their primary weapon. Which is kind of interesting. But it has like a 10 second cooldown or something. Or like, like basically, like it can only be fired once per ten seconds, or, or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Actually, maybe it's a little bit more frequently than that. But yeah, anyways, I would keep the spider mines on this one, anyways. Uh, as for the liberators, um, we now get uh, redu significantly reduces time required to build liberators. Um, I mean, I I don't see this as a very useful upgrade on many things. Maybe the marines, it's actually quite nice on, just because you get them. I like that marine that's dancing over here. Okay, nice. So you can get, like... Like, you can tell the person who's making these videos is bored. It's like, how the fuck do I show that this is it, this is valuable at all? And he just puts the, the thing of dance in there. So we're actually going to take the um, well the health upgrade. Because we're actually taking we're taking Liberators along for this one. And just in case you wanted it, uh, you get the Banshees with the... Uh, the the little splash ground attack. So basically your standard campaign upgrade is now just uh, here, I guess. I'll just give them permacloak even though we're not going to use them. You could also significantly reduce the time that uh, to build glass. Oh, that motherfucking overlord. Oh, God. Thank goodness we have this fucking optimized logistics upgrade. Now we can send that overlord back to fucking char or whatever. Such a useful upgrade, yeah. I don't know why the fuck they did this shit. Uh, so for Hellbats, you can also get optimized logistics. Oh no, this poor supply depot. 
What upgrade will make the difference in this case? It's obviously the optimized logistics upgrade. It's so fucking useless. Like, it's just... Why? I want to meet the person who actually builds this, uses this non-ironically. And look, you can also get a, a pre-igniter, so... A regular research option in the game is now a, uh, Complete upgrade in this one, so... It's, uh, pretty useless. I guess we'll take, like, the range upgrade on the Goliath. Even though we're not gonna use it. We also get, uh, D4 charges on the Reapers. Um, if you haven't noticed, anything past the second mission, I never use Reapers. And I'm not going to start. Their gas requirements are too high. Reapers are totally useless for this campaign. Except for that first mission. They didn't even give you cliffs or anything. And the last you have is the Marines. Significantly reduces the time amount needed to train them. Yeah. It just... Yeah. As said, as useless as, as you would expect. That, that, that great supply depot was saved by this. So we're building um, liberators and battlecruisers for this mission. I found them to be the most effective. Siege tanks also work if you want to use them, but that is completely up to you. As for equipment, uh, we're going to go... I would heavily suggest going with the plasma rifle uh, for this one. And go with the pulse grenade uh, with this. And you can use Psy Amplication Suit. Um, I mean, Turbo Jet might be okay as well, but we're going to use the... Uh, we're going to use this one, the Psy Implication. And we're also going to take the Rangefinder uh, upgrade, just so we get the extra range. Um, I, there's nothing cloaked in this map, really, so... I mean, we use Nova just to clear out uh, big waves. That's all we use her for. Um, so she's not particularly useful in any other situation. That's why I think, actually, Apollo and Plasma Rifle are probably the best things. And Pulse Grenade is also pretty good as well, because it's just you get a lot of, like, really heavy burst with, with these three options. The last one doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so that's it. We are done, so let's go. What's that? Attention! Enemy forces are moving down the central streets in these locations. SCV ready. Additionally, I've summoned the Dominion fleet to help us, but it'll be some time before they arrive. Once they're here, our battle cruisers will have no problem blasting through the Taldarim. Until then, you've been cleared to build your own. We already have the plans. First, we must construct a fusion core. Then the ships themselves will require a vast number of resources. Never thought beating Alarak would come cheap. So, I kind of, we now focus on the initial kind of three uh, routes that we have here. And we also are going to build a massive Liberators pretty early on. Um, so, I'm just going to let you know how this is going to work generally with the um, the Expos. You notice how we have three Expos here. One, two, three. You mine minerals from two of them, and from the last one you just mine the gas. You don't need any more than that. Uh, and we're gonna build the next base pretty much as soon as we get like some minerals established Because they're also good for building uh, some workers pretty early on as well and As you can see I kind of make the starport here. You can rally it over here. Do whatever you want with it um, Another nuke silo or two should be in your agenda at some point because it's it is as I said that the clutch king of This of this game like just to make nuke silos whenever you want uh, But it's not valuable that early on so the name of the game here is they send little attack waves every once in a while. Um, and they have some defenses kind of in these areas, as you can see. And this is where the, where the Liberators actually really come in handy. Because they will build units, they will have these bunkers, they will not repair the bunkers though. So it will be up to us a little bit later to deal with that. Uh, but for the time being, uh, we are pretty good on this account. We, Oh, here we go. Taldarim immortals are advancing on our position. They'll carve through our forces unless we stop them. Leave it to me. Big job, huh? So we can start building the fusion core now. Like, we just start working up into battlecruiser tech. Kind of. But economy is the big thing now. Now, immortals, you don't really have to worry about too much. And as you can see, I put my liberators in kind of an opportune position to basically attack things like this. So they're really not an issue. I mean, I, I, I want to actually make one more Liberator just because it's uh, triggering me how there's only one in that one place. So, yeah, just constantly making SCVs. 
Not enough. I'm gonna start making the guys over there. Not enough minerals. Right. Oh wait, we have things here. So as long as they don't kill uh, the bunkers, we're pretty good. Because I'm not sure if they rebuilt them. I'm going to guess not. I, I haven't really... When I played this myself, I didn't really lose them. Uh, I'll, I'll admit the first time I went through this entire campaign, it was a fucking disaster. But uh, the rest of this is actually pretty good. Alright, here we go. So we're going to send this person up to here. And we're going to deploy up there. And now we're probably just going to be making just exclusively uh, this bullshit. And also we should go make, uh, well, when I say this bullshit, I mean uh, we're making just liberators. We're going to make probably four nuke silos, so that should be a good amount. And as I said, it's actually easier than I would have thought to, to handle all this. Uh, because of the fact that they trickle in, so the idea is just to get some shit to basically deal with the trickle. Which is, liberators are pretty good, battle cruisers are pretty good. Um, you just kind of sit in there, and then we just get a bunch of SCVs, and, the, and then you're done. That's it. Uh, the mission's pretty easy. Uh, all things considered, I didn't expect it to be this easy. I thought it was going to be a, a pain in the ass. I've ordered the defenders of man to build up their fortifications in the side streets. The Taldarim will probably strike these areas soon. Your support would be welcome, Nova. So, they make it, now they have a couple more routes. They have a couple more routes, but we just continuously make uh, liberators, and we put a, put like two at each one. My scans show Taldarim void rays gathering for an attack from the left. I'll cut them off. Thanks, Rigel. So I found these three tanks are enough to cover this hundreds. Like you can make tanks everywhere. You could totally do that if you want to. Oh, this guy's done. Uh, let's go put these guys into different positions. So the idea is, as I said, once again, we're just kind of filling all this shit up, and then here we go, see Void Rays? And we kind of just do this shit. And we have enough splash, we don't have to... We don't actually have to use our nukes yet, it's ridiculous, actually. And we're just gonna, we're gonna continuously pump out, um, and this is why I put the healing on the Liberators, I figured that was the best option. Because they sometimes take hits, like, I don't know why, but, uh... All right, let's go. Okay, I think we're basically done actually with this ship. So we're gonna go and uh, put two over there. Okay, we don't need any more. We're just gonna upgrade these guys now, and now we're gonna make some supply depots. And these guys can all have their own abilities here and we continuously make liberators. We have two liberators right here. The Taldarim's attacks are intensifying. Our outer defenses won't last unless we permanently station reinforcements there. Should the perimeter fall, the Protoss attack forces can converge and we'll have a hell of a fight on our hands. They'll also destroy the Dominion Research Center in this vicinity. I heard they were on the verge of a breakthrough. And now we can start making battle cruises. I'll do my best to keep it safe. And so the amount that I made here, with Additional respect to, oh, uh, we can now just like fucking a ton of this shit down. Honestly, I didn't need this much, anyways. Be careful, Nova. More enemy void rays are flying in from the right side. Nova, why are you helping these vermin? There are innocent people here. You already know that. You just don't care. From that last. So, I, as you can see, these uh, Liberators are extremely helpful here. I actually never thought I'd say that, but they actually are pretty good, just for this mission. Gas. Nova, the first squadrons in the Dominion fleet have arrived, and will begin supporting our defenses. Our Gorgon-class battlecruisers are particularly effective against heavy resistance. Give the call, and I'll command them to clear an area. So you can send down uh, Gorgon battlecruisers in each of the lanes. If you're playing this correctly, you actually will not need that at all. As weird as that is, it, it just you don't need it. So as long as you just have the liberators in every single place, and we have the battlecruisers coming in, we need to finish up our uh, 
Not enough energy. I think we need some more, uh... What's going on? Need some more of this shit. Yeah. As you can see, minerals is not the problem. This is why I don't even bother with the minerals at this base at all. Like, liberators are actually pretty good in just this mission. Like, I, I hated them in the last one. But I found them to be extremely good here. So you can have Nova do whatever the fuck she wants. Nova can just, like, strong independent, whatever. A group of immortals is approaching the central entrance to our base. Call down a Gorgon if you can, Nova. Like, we really actually do not need it. Alright, let me see here. What else can these guys do? We'll just put, like, another one here. Let's get some more of these liberators. Complete. Of course. And we already have our battle cruisers. So normally what I do is I put like I try and put like two at every entrance, so I can just warp one in. Nova here. Got it. Uh it's a group of immortals, right? This, these are not immortals. I hear they're So, these battle cruisers, however, will not heal themselves, so this is why we actually bring like two SCVs to every single entrance. And I might as well just produce a bunch more because we're going to need them. And this is the, about the time I'd start considering to put them over there. And so they're actually pretty good at just kind of keeping everything healed. And you see I'm using the mineral ones because I, you don't need any other SCVs. I think this is good enough. Because I can rebuild them as much as I want. As long as you just have a little bit at everywhere. Oh shit, okay, Nova's fucking dead. This is not the best uh, idea to have. But that's fine. And I'll put some over here. So as you can see these SCVs just come over here. Now they are going to help repair all the bunkers. We need more best being gas. To be honest, we probably don't even need more SCVs right now. We, we probably have enough right now. Okay, so Liberators, let's see here. Do I have a third one right there? Yep, third one there. We got three over here. We got only two here. So, I, I, I found three to be a good number, and then you fill the rest of it with bunkers. Yeah, that's enough for that. Uh, and we'll probably get some up the middle. Not enough energy. One hell of a healing device. Nova's back in. So, we're actually almost already done with our, like all the shit that we possibly would want to do. And so now it's just a matter of stockpiling resources. Take caution. Wrathwalkers are coming in from the left side. So this is this might be a situation where we want to nuke some stuff, so I might actually go make two more of these things. What's going on? I'm reading you. Executing. We found the one situation where Nukes might be pretty good. Nova here. So we kind of just we wait for the initial kind of forces for us to see them, and then now we can start nuking. And they're the wraith walkers. And we have some two, some more battle cruisers. Kind of warp them in over there. And how much more do we need? I'm just gonna put two more over here. What do I have here? I only have two. Whatever. We don't have enough supply for this. This is actually the issue now. I mean, so you get some battle cruisers over here and shit like that, but yeah. Probably why like, two is probably a pretty good number for this, but yeah. And so now I'm just gonna put Nova into the subway system and I mean, it doesn't really matter anymore now, does it? It's a trap. I found that the outside is the one that kind of needs your help the most. But you, you see kind of how like they did they send like a little bit at you at a time. That it's never enough. More wrath walkers are moving to intercept our forces. Upgrade complete. Okay, we have her come over here, and I'm gonna have Upgrade these guys come complete. in the middle here. Uh Maybe. except I already have one there. Well, it's a trap. We'll put it we'll put one over there. So they have their own battle cruisers too. So the game is nice enough to kinda tell you exactly when they're coming and shit like that, so. Uh, by the way, I want to also iterate something. Um, I may have been slightly wrong about the lack of healing options in this game. I'm, actually, let me go kill, like, two of my SCVs. Which is going to be impossible. Okay, we killed that without even looking. 
I need two of my SCVs to die. The remainder of the Dominion fleet has reached our position, Emperor. At last. Ensure they fill in the weak points in our defenses. You should also transfer General Davis to one of the brigs. She must be kept under maximum guard, no matter what happens. Of course. I'll see to it. They're actually doing pretty well here. As I said, it's just the trickling, and they, the battle cruisers actually do it pretty well with regards to dealing with, like, air attacks and shit like that, so... They do much better than I ever would have expected, to be honest. Why the hell is this Liberator here? It's fucking crazy. We can also just do Mato things. Oh, she's in there right now. Okay, so the Raven. The Raven, the Raven wants to show you guys something, because I was fucking wrong about something. So, I said there was no healing in this game. Basically, like, that, there, you had no, you basically had no options to heal anything. Actually, you, we don't need to do anything with that. Um, and I was actually very wrong on that subject. Oh, uh, I didn't get to use that. Apparently, the Raven's defense drone is a biomechanical repair drone, which is actually the exact same thing you get in the, um, Such stupidity, even for a Terran. Janara. I guess Alarak won't fight his own battles. It's the same thing you get in the co-op, which is the ability to kind of heal what based upon that. Uh, and I, I I'm like I'm like shit, I actually had that the whole time. So you actually do if you get when you get ravens, you have the ability to heal your units. Status report. Alright. Uh, we're gonna just deal with most of these guys. Got it. Nuclear missile ready. Execute. All right, sending interceptors after me. I could probably just kill it with the uh, nukes, but might as well. Mineral field depleted. Is she finally gone? I don't think so. But they are still more Taldarim attacking. Our fight has not ended. Oh, we lost some battle cruisers. Mostly because these battle cruisers go a little bit too. F they 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 really jump the gun. With some of this stuff. There you go. Like they keep going too far ahead. I mean, we can kind of like move a little bit closer, but I don't know about that. Okay, we might want to go up here. As I said, it's it's always the the sides that kind of break first. I don't know why that is. It looks like we got this one. How's this one doing? This one's okay. Yeah, they have. They already have one. So that they'll get repaired by the SCVs, hopefully. I mean, we have. We still have SCVs here. Okay, where's our? It's our first battle cruisers. Oh, apparently we have a liberator instead. So, at this point, we actually start sending Nova to die. That's obviously a great idea. Um, I just start sending all my guys with minerals, like, all, all over the place. Because we have, we have 8,000 now. Like, does this matter to us now? And we even, like, finished mining this one. So, I, I kind of just send them out to any, anywhere that needs repairs. Numerous Taldarim void rays have set a course for our position. I'll deal with it. Uh, how many battle cruisers do we have here? Okay, we have enough. So it's more just a matter of figuring out which ones are starting to fall. Oh, this one's starting to fall. So the bunkers here fell at some point. Alright, Nova can handle this, I'm sure. Our 
So they have a Void Ray Force here, but we have three nukes. And heart. This is like the only attack that actually kind of goes directly into the lines here. And we dealt with it. Yeah, just kill some things with the uh, cannons or whatever. Apparently, I have nothing over here. Do we have more battle cruisers? Yes, we do. Definitely have more of those. Let's get this. You battle everything. This whole time, Alarak has been testing me. I will not fail. Janara is leading the rest of the Death Fleet toward us, Nova. We'll finish this, one way or another. Alright, we're tying now all our forces to kind of come out, come on over here. Because uh, they're actually not going to attack from any other angle now. All hands to battle stations. Uh, let's tell the... Nuclear missile ready. Tell these guys to all go into fire mode. It's just one last attack wave down the center here. Bringing out the big guns. I guess what's pretty good with those nukes. <laughs> oh shit. Time to clean them out. Time to clean them out. It seems so uh Yes, Commander. Seems so unfair. Wow, okay. Just the nukes can only fucking MVP. Ships, Horner. We need to get back to Core Hall. One of the ships isn't responding. The Medusa. They had Davis in custody there. My scans show the Medusa has already left orbit. And she escaped. Return to your ship, Nova. We have much to discuss. Well, it looks like I only killed 10 units with the Yamato Cannon. Like, I just I had trouble even doing that to begin with. Um, just because I just kept using it, but yeah. Uh, you can destroy 300 enemies with the Gorgons. I didn't even use them. Um, I mean, you can. If you want to, but I didn't. Uh, they're kind of cool. I guess I should have showed you what they do. They're just giant battle cruisers that attack stuff. But, I mean, I just I was mostly making a point of how easy the mission is, even without using the tools at your disposal. Like, I, I, I thought it would actually be difficult, but it really wasn't, to be honest. I do not take kindly to betrayal, Perrin. You've made a powerful enemy today. So have you. Have I now? Your hubris is quite entertaining. Don't come back. <laughs> Nova, the Taldarim are warping out, but the damage is done. Now it will be even harder to convince the people that aliens are not a threat. That's why the Defenders of Man attacked the Protoss in the first place. Davis will go to any length to gain public support, no matter how many innocent lives it costs. Those were my father's tactics. Davis will answer for this Nova. Track her down and bring her in to stand trial for her crimes. Bring her in? We've tried that. It didn't work. There's only one way to stop her. No. I have publicly declared that Davis is to stand trial in a court of law. Bring her back alive, Nova. Yes, Emperor. <sighs> Nova, our orders are quite clear.
It's been hours since we lost contact with the ship that Davis was on. But here's a distress call from the Cerro shipyards. A Dominion vessel is firing on the rest of the fleet. It's her. Get us there quickly. 